Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance Fresh Save File Run. We are going to be going in here today to unlock Lilith, which we got to beat Greed Mode with Azazel to do, which I don't think is going to be that bad. I remember the final boss of this is pretty rough, but we've got a whole different mode to check out here, which if you've never seen it before, honestly, it's kind of like a Horde survival game, if I'm going to be real. But it came out before they kind of got super duper popular. More or less, step one, we get our free item. Luck up, soul heart, spawn two keys. I mean, honestly, not bad. And then we can pay to get in here. My tears bounce off of enemies and obstacles. And then, of course, we have our shop right up here as well. We can just teleport down to the next floor? Huh. I don't think I want to do that. But yeah, the next thing we do is we step on this button. We will summon some enemies. I guess we also have the fool card, so we can check this for free. Good deal. Nine bucks. All right. I mean, we can already get some stuff. Five keys, throw one of Isaac's keys in the direction. Eh. I think we'll grab the soul heart, if anything, but boom. We summoned some enemies. We got the burning basement. Funny to see that this is our first time running the burning basement in this series. Just unlocked it in the last episode, I believe. But yeah, we just keep on blasting through enemies. When that timer hits zero, more enemies spawn. But, whoop. You know, if you kill them early, we gotta deal with more. Uh, oh, oh, God, that was just dumb. That was just dumb. So the good news is, Azazel is honestly one of the easiest characters, at the very least, in the early game. What do I do with the, uh... Can I bounce? Okay, so my tears bounce off the walls. I don't think they're actually bouncing off of enemies. Oh, boy. Okay. Also worth noting, if we really want to tap out, we can always hit the button. And then we will uh, be done with the wave. But to do so, we'll have to take a hit. Which I don't really feel like doing. Whoop. So blast this. They're <laughs> standing there menacingly. Alright. Looks good to me. I think we're done. And then after this, we'll have to go through a couple bosses. I think that went fine. Could have been better, could have been worse. We can just keep on buying some more of those. We got a couple keys. Should I just get another... Get another heart? I mean, we're relatively strong. I feel like it's fine. Ragman. You don't have to turn on... Oh, the red light. Oh, let's just... Boop, bop him. Oh, my lord. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. But safely, though. Not a low-range boss. My god. My god. All right. We got a couple, like, that are... I'm not going to say that these are anti-low-range bosses. Right? Okay, Ragman is. But, hey... Got a little bit more money, so we could leave right now. That is worth noting. We could just leave if we really wanted to. I'm going to get a range up. You know? Sure. Does it make a difference? I'm not sure. But instead of that, we're going to go for a... What the health bar? We go for a deal with the devil wave, which is a much harder wave, but gives us a deal with the devil item, I do believe. Truthfully, easier wave than the other. In my opinion. Oh, it's not a free item. It's, a, uh, it's just a deal with the devil. Chance to revive on half a heart on death. Basically, I'd be grabbing that to possibly turn into Guppy. That's really what that would be about. Uh, so, sure. I'll take it. We got our two keys. We've already checked this room here. Boop's got nothing. The boop's got nothing. But yeah, not a great showing on that floor, I'm going to be honest. 
but you didn't need me to tell you that. All right. Can be some enemies in here. There's also some items. Got kind of lucky with that. Okay. Pop on down, get our next free item. And, I guess, key item as well. Tears up, shot speed. I mean, yeah. Charge rate went way up on that one. Tiny planet. I think it's good on Azazel. Oh my god, is it ever. And if we hit the wall... Oh my god, it's so good on Azazel. Are you kidding me? I might want to get breakfast. Usually or always there's a... I thought there always had to be a secret room there, but I guess it can be in different spots. I'm going to grab breakfast so that I can get another deal with the devil, mostly. Oh, this is... Oh, we got so much stronger. Just the range of it is so much better. But yeah, we don't want to fall behind on these waves. You saw what happens when things... Oh start to get a little bit clumped together. You get two waves at the same time. It's obviously not good. One of our waves was just that bomb wave, which honestly, barely a wave. Oh, no! Just as likely to deal damage to me as uh, that last wave, though, probably. Whoa! Alright, 16 bucks. 18. What do we got? A speed upgrade. How much for a reroll? Oh, no. Come on. Okay. Fire rate up multiplier for the left eye. Is that... Does that mean something on this character? Deflect an enemy or projectile right before Isaac would take damage from it. Chance to deflect projectiles near it. Need to be touched after deflecting to be reactivated. Lil Dumpy. <laughs> okay. I I don't know if I know Little Dumpy, so I'm gonna take Little Dumpy because I'm curious. Well, jump to take a hit for me is pretty exciting. So I have fixed Lil Dumpy there. We can actually just be invincible. If we want to be like boring and lazy. We can just do this. Oh, Lil Dumpy tried to protect me from an attack that wasn't real. That's cute. I gotta be honest. Again? Oh, he can shoot bullets. Okay, I was gonna say, again, not a scary wave. And I think that'd be completely true if there were no bullets. I think it'd be, like, nigh impossible for me to take damage. Now it's just very unlikely. Oh. Okay, we have the, the heart just for the deal with the devil was basically the plan. Damage up, chance to shoot fear tears. It's worth it. Ooh. 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 Black laser. Bam, balam. Grab this. So I can go in here more cleanly. That was not worth it. For those of you wondering at home, that was a big ol' waste of time. You're, that's like your familiar stay in place. Something of that nature. They're stuck in one spot and can't move. That doesn't sound good for Lil Dumpy. That doesn't sound good for Lil Dumpy to me. Alright, we are now out of keys. A health upgrade again, you know... Is it the best? No, but considering we have, like, guaranteed... What is this? Change your character to a random character? Oh. Range up, tier size up. Shoot shielded tiers to destroy enemy projectiles. Those are a, a lot of neat things. Fly for the whole room? Oh my god. Discount key? I, I think that's... If there's a key on sale, you buy those keys. Because obviously, like, there's always this guaranteed thing here. 
Tears up and you can shoot in diagonals. It says all directions, I guess, but I think... Okay. Okay, was that two of those waves at the same time? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, thank you, little dumpy. Honestly, he seems kind of kind of cracked. Sometimes he gets a little bit preemptive with it. Like he keeps sometimes it looks like he thinks I'm gonna be taking a hit that I'm not actually gonna be taking. Why I pick up the coins now? I guess I don't know. Should just fight the boss. We have the 17 bucks. I mean, look at the range up. I mean, Azazel's not good at range, but you wouldn't know it now. Lol. Lol. I don't think you can get to me. I think it might be impossible. Okay, next. Uh oh. Okay. Monstro 2, especially this, like, an elite Monstro 2, is a lot scarier. I don't really know what your deal is. Okay. I don't know what your deal is and you're hopping around so fast and you're apparently scared of me. Most importantly, though, you have, like, just the stupidest amount of health I've ever seen. Holy. He's very fast. Sir. Stop it. <laughs> okay, little dumpy, you, you helped me out there. That was something. What would I want? Speed up range? Even more range up? We could just have the most range that an Azazel has ever had in the history of Azazelin. Ooh. Okay. I don't mind this fight. I just want to get the little babbies out of the way first. Okay. Got some tears. Get the babby. Oh, little dumpy, you should have had that. That's on me. Oh, another babby. Whoa, I did not want to open that, but I'm happy I did. That was an accident, but man, it shouldn't have been. Speed and damage up when you're on half a heart or less. Seems good to me. I'll always be in the cursed state. All right, 32 bucks. I could see the BLs about being good. Roid Rage. Don't have any yet. Let's grab a couple of these. Like one more. Stapler's just a damage up. Kind of hard to be mad at that. Member card appeared in the basement. Oh, screw. Okay, as far as secret rooms go, I guess we could be we could be here. Could be here. I don't. Can it be off of? I guess it could be in any direction, huh? There used to be a like a guaranteed spot for it. I thought. God, for my active item. So this, is, I guess, is going to be running sort of the same rules as normal mode, I think. We have to unlock a higher difficulty greed mode, I think, just by beating greed mode. Eh, a, little, a little good, a little bad. Shooting in one direction gradually increases your fire rate. I don't think that that does anything. There's my tears, tears up. Yeah, it's a, it's a completely irrelevant item. What? OK. 
Okay, maybe the keys are always on sale. Shots be up spent a card. Mm. Potential guppy. Chance to replace the room clear reward with a chest. I don't know if that necessarily does anything, but just the uh, potential to guppify is obviously going to be most compelling there. Mostly just shooting at a diagonal so I can at some of these points. But again, like, being kind of close to the wall almost works well. The rubber cement finally, like, kind of doing some stuff because my tiny planet. AKA the best item in the game. Behind Butterbean. I unironically like... Whoa, boy. Tiny planet. And I honestly... I might have an unironic appreciation for Butterbean at this point after what it did for me. Okay. Health up... I did. Bleh. Let's grab this at this point so we can... Did we already... We, oh, we already checked that. Ooh, two of these is weird. Oh, those are invincible. For this version. So they, they'll fire off um, brimstone beams when I'm at the side of them. Stop me heard this one before. I think I'm invincible to these guys. Come here. Oh, you got me. You almost got me. You poor sap. What? What is this boss? I don't know this boss. I don't know this boss. And there's two of them. And it's an elite version of it? I'm so glad I bought the health. Is it a poop monster? I think it's a poop monster. It's a goop poop monster. Guppy. Uh, Eye of the Cult, damage up, range up, shot speed down. Your tears can be controlled in midair. Ooh. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that yet. But I'm Guppy now. Uh, uh, it's marked? Marked, but a bit better? This... I can hit control to pull it back. Huh. After this, just honestly, just spirit heart me up and we're probably, we probably won. That's my educated guess. Tears up, range up, three random hearts. Don't mind that. Ooh, really don't mind that. Touching an enemy turns it to poop. <laughs> okay. High priestess. Familiar, which looks like a random co-op baby, has random tier effects, change every floor, damage the multiplier. I don't know if this applies for for my character. Okay, so about that range up thing, all those range ups are now irrelevant because we have the range is now yes. Okay. I think that we have homing though. It's de we definitely have purple. I can't tell if it's home. Oh my god, my my eyes. I mean, whatever's happening, I'm overpowered. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I'm seeing so many enemies and bosses. I hello again. Enemies and bosses I've never seen before. 
I, yeah, I think the flies are kind of uh, ripping everything apart. I don't know if this applies. Oh, you guys are screwed. I can tell you that much for free. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, horse. Is there was there a health upgrade? Damage for the left eye. Okay, we'll we'll, uh, we'll come up and get the meat after. We're gonna keep the damage upgrade first. Oh, you've got an infinite laser as well, huh? Had. Okay. Wait. Surely it stays open. It doesn't? But I blew- Oh god, that's so annoying. Okay. Alright. 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 I thought for sure it would, because that just seemed like it made sense. Too logical. Too logical. Pick up a red heart, can convert them into blue spiders, even at full health. Sure. That's a shame. That's a crying shame. I know if you leave a normal room, you lose the deal with the devil. For some reason, I thought it would not be the same for uh, for this mode. Because you're like, you have paid the price to open it, and therefore it should be yours. The shop. No more item. Two times tier size. Range up, don't care, black heart. I could just, like, pop down to the next floor already. Key beggar. Boop. Boop. We could just hang out up here and just fire downwards. At the bottom of the screen. Lol. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm strong. So there's 15, there's 18. Out of these, I guess I'd go for the duplex but damage and range up I mean is this an on sale like is that always oh interesting cluster of tears every 15 tears I think we go for the Jesus juice but we'll wait a sec and now we'll know to uh to pop this but for the deal with the devil one we won't do that quite yet okay somebody's dying down there Ooh, it's like a super fistula. Okay. The Jesus juice, why not? Pretty much maxed out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Damage up, black hearts up, sure. Basically no reason not to take it. Unless I was really attached to that uh, that red heart. Is there anything to really even do here? Trade a couple keys. Because I don't think we... Do we have... Wait. Wait. To unlock the keeper, I think I've just had a revelation. And it's a sad one. I think we needed to conserve our money. But not need, need is a strong word. Because I don't particularly want to engage in an overwhelming amount of uh, greed mode. But we might have to. Because I think I remember the, the donation machine for this might be separate than the other one. Ultra greed. This is like a last ditch effort to get a little bit of money, I think. Oh, thank you, buddy. A little bit more. Thank you. 
Ultra Greed. Hello, sir. All right. Watch out for the coins. God, what a cool looking fight, though. It's a shame he's an absolute uh, chump for us right now. Let's, let's hit, feed him some flies. That screen shake is next level, man. Oh, this attack I do remember being a little bit brutal. Mm -hmm. My little pal. I want to get him here. I don't know if he can push away bosses. So if you don't know, this guy's got um, boss armor, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. AKA, he reduces our DPS a bit. All right. I've done it. I've now unlocked Lilith. Yep. Greed mode is indeed a separate machine. Lucky pennies have appeared in the basement. There. There's 12. 12, 12 coins in there. Oh, man. Well, we've done it. That was that mode. It's a nice little tight mode, I will say. As a fan of shorter runs, I think I appreciate greed mode more than I used to. I don't know. I actually don't... I don't mind it. <laughs> Hello. So, the good news, the really good news is... That's done there. We've got... I don't know how to unlock greedier mode. Maybe that's after beating it a certain amount of times, but, like, as you notice, there's, like, a red outline around the heart and the, uh, the shoal thing on the post note. That's because I did it on hard mode. So there's normal, then there's hard mode, and then there's greed, and then I guess there's greedier, which would give us, like, that kind of more, the red outline there. Uh, but, yeah, I guess I, I don't know. I, I, I know I said just recently in the video, like, I wasn't intending to do lots of greed mode, but I guess I don't mind it. If, if you guys are interested in it, if it doesn't, like, tank in views, I guess, maybe, I don't know. I could do it. On top of the fact that there's definitely some, uh, some challenges I should do at some point here. We're getting so many unlocks. Like, I don't know. We should get, like, the Jera rune. That's for sure. Uh, there's just so much. So much to unlock. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or I guess the thing to really do would be... You know, flashing lights warning is going to get kind of nuts. You know, I mean, like, 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 wow. This is, uh, here's all the unlocks in Binding of Isaac. This is, this, if you're wondering, if you're wondering if this game has in, you know, like, some content in it. If you're wondering how much of the game is, like, left. If you're, if you're halfway done, halfway done. Isn't this absurd? I don't know. Anyways, that is that. And that short episode's gonna do it here for today for the Binding of Isaac. And hey, if you are enjoying the series and you want more of it, please do make sure to do the like, do the comment, all of that jazz. It really does help. I'm paying attention to all of it as I determine whether or not we are gonna be continuing on with some more Binding of Isaac. But like I said, that's that. It's good doing it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Lakes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.